Never up, never down, never Like a theme in a song, clever Feeling high, feeling low at the same time Feel so right, then I'm wrong, hoping I'll be fine But I get up, I always do Valentine's Day today and you know what I wasn't even thinking when and I'll explain more in detail because so much is going on um, but today is going to be the beginning and you all are going to come along with me and Lauren as well uh, reset renew uh, I am just taking control of my health this is going to be a whole health week and how fitting for today being Valentine's Day, the day of love. So not only loving your partner, uh, your family, and special little extra, the things that come along with Valentine's Day. To me, this is all about self-love too. And that's exactly where I'm headed with all this when I'm talking to you, all of you this morning is um, this week. I've got so many things going on and exciting. I'm so excited about this. But... Uh, it's going to be beginning on a health journey that I really need, you guys. I really, really, really need. Um, Weight-wise, I'm heavier than I've been in a long time. Um, and just things that I'm going to be doing this week, different appointments I'm going to be going to. Uh, but it's all great things. It's all good things. And I am ready. I am pumped. My friend Andrea, my sister, uh, a bunch of us are doing this together. So this morning, I do have an appointment this morning. And then I'm going to meet up with my friend Andrea. We're going to go over some food things. Um, tomorrow, uh, we're meeting. Lauren and I are going to meet with this uh, a girl that I've been following on social media. And she truly has been... Um, she's the driving force uh, that really like hit that switch for me and I'll share more about that as the time goes on here but um, anyway I made an appointment uh, to have some tea with her tomorrow and I asked Lauren do you want to come along and she's like yes so she's I'm in so we're gonna meet uh, her tomorrow she is like a life coach a health coach a wellness coach uh, we're meeting with her tomorrow Wednesday, I'm just having my typical appointments, um, hair, nails, and that kind of a thing. Thursday, I have a, an appointment in Cleveland. And then Lauren and I are going to do some filming out there for all of you. And then Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, Mark and I are going to go to Pittsburgh and watch the babies. Uh, while Morgan and Tony go out of town for a wedding. Um, but I have to share with you really, really exciting news. I've been waiting, um, but our families are beyond excited and I'm sure she won't mind if I share with all of you because you're going to find out anyway. Um, our daughter Caitlin and her partner are expecting a baby and we found out last night it's going to be a boy and me growing up with my sister and I and uh, I've got two girls and two granddaughters for us now to have a grandson. I, I don't even know. I, I, I'm so excited. We are beyond, we've, we've known for a while, obviously. We're so excited for them and for all of us. And we had the reveal yesterday and oh my God, I, I can't stop smiling. So I wanted to share that news with you. We are just, our family is growing and we're, we're beyond, beyond excited. Oh my goodness. So I wanted to share that with you too. Okay, well, I just made a cup of tea. I'm trying to not, well, I like coffee with cream and what I'm doing with trying to be healthy you really can't have cream, so that's okay. I'm fine with that. I'm drinking some really good loose leaf tea, which I've been loving, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and make myself a smoothie, uh, a protein smoothie, and then I'm gonna head out the door. It's a beautiful sunny day. It's a day of love. Love yourself. If you guys wanna go on this journey with us, please put it in the comment section. Like, I, I wanna do a health journey. I wanna follow along, because um, I've tried so many different things, and I know this is what works, and and I'm going back to that, so. Okay, all right, I'm just checking in. Welcome back to the Diaries of Karen. I know that was long, 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 but welcome back. <laughs> okay, friends, I'm gonna make a smoothie. I just have some almond milk and some ice, and I've got in here some natural 
let me see here, almond, like no sugar added or anything like that, some almond butter. And then I'm going to add some protein. And my absolute favorite protein is Bizingular. I know you, me and Lauren have talked about this before. Unfortunately, we went to uh, our appointment this morning and here one of the um, workers had an accident and anyway, they had to reschedule stuff. So thank God, I think she's okay. Uh, so we're gonna go back tomorrow. So my friend Andrea came over and her and I just chit-chatted and laughed and we're talking about how we're gonna eat healthy and shared recipes and things like that. Uh, so I have been home now just doing a little orchid work and um, what I've been gonna, starting to do is I got this little notebook here and it's gonna be my, my food journal. Cause you know, gosh, how many times I know throughout the day do you grab like a piece of chocolate here or a little something there and those little things are the ones that add up and I'm by no means a professional, you guys, because you know I've been on this roller coaster of trying to eat healthy for years. Uh, and then I get on this bandwagon, and I do great, and then we fall off, and you know, that's just me. Uh, I know a lot of us can probably relate, so I thought it'd be nice to have a journal where I can just keep everything that I'm eating in my book, and maybe write how I'm feeling today, and all that kind of stuff. Um, but my, uh, the mentor group, I love these women so much. Dodie came up with an idea that we're each gonna send each other a card every month with a little note, a message, or something like that, and it was such a fabulous idea so let me show you and the reason why i'm sharing this with you now because they would have received their cards by now but um, i grabbed these cards and it says you just can't help but be awesome and i'm writing a personal message inside and i also got these prayers to share 100 pass along notes for hope and i thought this was so super cool and i love it and you can just read which one you like and it just comes right out and i was folding each one and putting it into their personal card. Uh, so I've been doing that this morning. And uh, so I'm gonna share with you guys here in a few minutes uh, a recipe that I'm gonna make for lunch. It is like a um, an egg roll, but it's not in a roll. It's like a salad or like a dinner. It's with cabbage and ground turkey and some seasonings and some onion and garlic. Sounds really delicious. So I'm gonna make that for lunch and may I might even eat it for dinner because I find if I just, you know, make it easy and simple. Or if I have all these different cooked things, it's just too much. I'm trying, you know, the hardest thing about when you're trying to watch what you eat is just like, I feel like you're always in the kitchen. So I'm trying to alleviate that. So by making things and just saying, okay, I'm gonna have this for lunch and also gonna have it for dinner. Uh, it, I can do that if it's something that's really tasty. So we'll know, I'll try it with you guys. Um, I'm gonna whip that up here in a minute. And, uh, but anyway, I'm gonna sit here and do my first, food journal and uh, then we'll share this recipe. I just browned up some ground turkey and just seasoned it with some sea salt and some pepper. I'm gonna go ahead and take this out of the pan and I'm gonna heat some sesame oil and then saute some onion and some fresh garlic. Now I'm sauteing up the garlic. I also added some ground ginger low sodium soy sauce and some balsamic vinegar. Added a bag of the slaw mix, just the cabbage, and then put the, eat, the meat back in. And now I'm gonna go ahead and let this cook until the cabbage is too like how I like it. I think I'm gonna put a lid on here just for a little bit. Uh, maybe this will help soften it up. Okay, here it is. This looks really delicious. Um, one tip that I always use that always have has always helped me. So here it is. Looks really delicious. Sorry. <laughs> it's getting a little steamy. Um, but one tip that I always like to do as far as when it comes to portion control, I like to use a smaller plate so it looks like there's more on the plate. So if you use a big dinner plate, then you feel like, oh my gosh, my plate is like 
empty. So this looks like I've got a full plate of food, but it's a much smaller plate. Um, so I'm gonna try it out and I'll let you know what I think, but I can tell you one thing, it smells really good. So a little afternoon snack, some celery and some natural peanut butter. And look, no, 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 Archie, this is for mommy. <laughs> well, friends, I had a repeat of lunch for dinner tonight. And uh, Mark actually, him and I went out Friday night to celebrate Valentine's Day because I knew that I would be starting this new health kind of a thing <laughs> and eating very healthy and clean and uh, I wouldn't want to have ruined it day one going out to a big dinner. So we had our romantic date night on Friday night and it was just fabulous. Um, so, and of course, on um, Saturday, we went to Gervasi Vineyards and had, went with Mike and Kim and Gary and Jody and did, went to a wine tasting, had a fabulous dinner. It was just so beautiful. Uh, so we had a really a fun weekend just filled with a lot of eating and all that kind of stuff. So that's why today we're just hunkering down and uh, um, he made... I made him something really simple to eat and because he's like, I'm not eating that stuff that you're eating. So <laughs> I'm going to try to make something like tomorrow, whatever, that I think he would enjoy eating. Um, but I just wanted to jump on and say hello. I'm done eating for the night, so I'm still drinking a ton of water. I'm going to have some tea here in a little bit. And uh, so I made it through day one. This is like an eight day kind of a thing. And then from there, you just sort of uh, just, um, you know, continue to eat clean and uh, but it's just not as specific so uh day one down seven more to go and you guys will be with me for every one of them except for day eight so um yeah okay well i want to go enjoy the rest of my night here chilling out and uh, i hope you guys are uh, having a great evening and i will see you in the morning good night good morning friends happy tuesday well i am getting ready again for my appointment that I was um that I went to yesterday that we had to reschedule. Oh, that's afterwards. First of all, I am going to meet, uh, I think maybe I shared with you yesterday, but um, this is a friend of a friend. Uh, my old boss, who's younger than me, when I worked at the bank, um, this is one of her friends. I'm not sure if that's how I connected with her on social media. I'm really not sure, but needless to say, I just love watching her journey. Um, there's just so many things that I'm just um, inspired by, by her. And uh, I think she's like a wellness kind of coach. And she was also Mrs. Ohio 2018. So she's absolutely beautiful. And I love her soul. Uh, I love her faith and all that. So I had planned to meet with her for coffee and I had asked Lauren if she wanted to come along uh, just to chat with her. So Lauren and I are going to meet her uh, here shortly. So. I'm going to go ahead and make my smoothie though, so at least I have it in the car to have afterwards. I just made my delicious cup of tea. Let me share with you the tea that I've been really loving lately. It's a loose leaf tea and it's just so delicious. Let me show you. I think I showed you me making it yesterday morning, but I really didn't talk about it. So I think for those of you that love tea, you might be interested. The tea is Tea Motions. Um, when I purchased this, I got the sampler set. So there's different ones. This one's like peppermint cream. You can see they're all back here. Um, Seek Peace, and this is a Rehoboth coconut chai. Delicious, though. I had that last night. And this one is Enjoy Rest apple cinnamon chamomile. Almost done with that one. Um, this one is vanilla Earl Grey. And this one is Fine Strength. Oh, Passion Fruit, Jasmine, and Green Tea. And this one is uh, Lemon Vanilla Green Tea. So what I do is, and I can link this for you, um, I love this so much. So I put a, you know, however much, this, this say, they normally say heaping teaspoon, teaspoon. I put it into here, and then I boil my water in my smeg. And then um, when my water's boiled, I pour it into the loose, right into this. And as you can see then, look at this, this is so cool. You put this right on top of your mug, and it, what it does is it pours the coffee, I mean the tea right in. When you lift it up, it stops it. Because there's a little contraption here that as soon as it places on the top here, it pulls, it, it pushes like this piece in that lets the tea come out. So I am loving this, and this is what I've been drinking non-stop. And 
now that I've tried these out, I'm going to go order, you know, the ones I really, really like um, just to have on hand, like the whole 10. So I wanted to share that with you this morning. I've got my shake. I'm ready to head out. Um, I'm really interested. I cannot wait to meet Heather and just hear more about what she does. And then I've got my second appointment, like I said. And then I'm going to come home and just chill out. It's bitter cold today, but the bright side is going to be... I think in the 50s, high 50s tomorrow and on Thursday. So I'm happy about that. Finally going to melt this snow, you guys. We still have a lot of it left. All right, so I'm going to head on out and I'll update you when I'm done with my first meeting or maybe after my second. Depends on how long the first one runs. All right, friends, while well, I am home, had a great, great meeting with Heather. Oh, she's such a joy. She's absolutely beautiful inside and out and just love getting to know her and really looking forward to what's next working with her um so i'm home and i'm gonna go reheat my lunch that i had for yesterday and dinner because it made enough and uh, but i wanted to show you lauren was with me you know earlier and this is a new a new item that we just got in our boutique and i love it you guys so look at how cute i love the sleeves um, so this is a denim top. Let me show you in this mirror. I'm actually by my front door, so hopefully you can see. Uh, uh, look at how, I just love how cute this is. I love the sleeve. I love the V-neck on here and the collar. So it's not super tight fitting. Oops, did I miss a button? I did. Um, so I have a large and I still have room, plenty of room. Um... I probably could try on the medium to see, but I just think this fits really nice because a lot of times you get too small, you get a gap, and I do not, I'm sorry about the sun behind me, I just don't want a gap, you know, um, but it is so super cute. Oh my gosh, you guys, I love it. So this is on the boutique if you want to go check it out. We've got so many nice new pieces coming, and I can't wait to share them all with all of you, but yeah, here it is. Uh, I love it. So I'm going to take this off and put my turtleneck back on because it's freezing cold outside right now. Um, but I wanted to show you, Lauren, like I said, uh, just gave it to me and I wanted to try it on and I am in love with it. I just finished my delicious lunch and before I started having lunch, I decided, one of those people, when I get a little fire under my, mm -hmm, you know, I just go with it. So I'm sort of redoing as far as um, just moving stuff around, decorative pieces and stuff like that. So right now my bookshelves, I just didn't like the way they were looking. Cluttered to me and I'm, I'm just totally like not liking that cluttered thing at all. So I'm taking my books down from the bookshelf and I'm gonna try to maybe put some of those books downstairs on our one bookshelf and just make this more decorative, more pretty because it is our office but it is you know, one of the front rooms. So basically what I'm doing now, and I'm going to show you, I mean, I'm not proud of my mess. My desk is atrocious. I started, sorry about the lighting here, started taking um, some of the stuff off of here and I'm just going to redo all this. So, I mean, I just put these ones down here. I'm going to go through these books here, but I just want to make it a little more neat. I got to go through my desk, which is just atrocious right now. So I'm working my way to up here. Um, just again, I change out the candlesticks a little bit more lighter, uh, and I'm not sure I'm, I'm going to probably change that right there. And I really just wanted this piece to be really simple. I've got, I saw, showed you guys on my last vlog, these beautiful glasses, my little wine decanter. I just thought, you know, this will be just simple, uh, a little bit of white and some gold glass kind of a thing. So, uh, for now, that's really all I have there. That's really all I want there. So, okay, I'm going to walk around and I'll show you. The outcome uh, when I'm done. So I got a couple things changed around. Um, okay, so you guys are gonna laugh, but so we. Oh my gosh, the lighting's horrible. We have a lot of books. Why well, have a lot of books? So I just did not like. I just didn't like the way all the different colors look. So I turned them around. So these are the other side of the book. You know what I mean? Like the open part. But as a distance, it just looks like it blends better. Of course, there's a couple things on the end, but that's the way it is. Um, just some faux flowers. I, I need to get more here. This is just, you know, just putting stuff here for now. And of course, I got my baby girls. And then this is a flameless candle right here that will come on like around six-ish or so. Mm -hmm. So over here, 
I just sort of changed this around more just basic. Um, I think this is the same that I sort of just showed you. I don't know. I'm going to play around with that. So I've been playing around with everything and, uh, I'll let you know as I keep changing things up, but I wanted to have more pictures. I'm going to maybe get different frames of the girls, but I wanted to have our grandbabies right here. Um, and then, you know, just the flowers there. So changing things up a little at a time just to add a little pops of spring into the house. I have not decided yet what I'm going to do with, um, the table over there at the dinette area, but that will be next. Good morning, friends. Happy Wednesday. I have a quick appointment that I had to reschedule for this morning. Then I have my hair. Then I have my nails. I have a jam-packed morning. I've got my smoothie. I've got my little supplements. My little nuts. I am a little nuts, I swear. I got everything I need to head out the door. I'm going to take Archie out. It's going to be in the mid-50s today, which is going to be like a heat wave here. So this is all I'm wearing with some leggings. I'm actually sweating right now. I've been running around like a crazy woman, getting ready to get out the door this morning. Uh, but I want to jump on and say good morning and happy Wednesday. So go out there today and do something good for yourself. I want you to renew and just refresh. So enjoy your day. I'll be back here in a little bit. Oh my gosh, friends. <laughs> I had to go um, talk to my doctor for something and he decided to do all this blood work and all these different tests I was not expecting and I'm fine I'm fine um, which is always a good thing to get you know whatever so now I'm, I had to reschedule my hair appointment going to get my nails done and when I'm done here I'm gonna run to get my hair done it's a whirlwind of a day oh my goodness and it's only 11 o'clock so um okay i'm not sure i'm gonna do with my nails something fun and i'll check in after well maybe even after my hair because i feel like i'm gonna be running so okay i just wanted to say hey and it's been a heck of a morning but all good well, friends i am home i had to change my top because i had something on it I feel like a hot mess so <laughs> i just put something on for now i am so hungry so i just made myself a little kind of a healthy lunch let me show you so i got some lettuce um, with a, just a little bit of light turkey breast and some pickle and a little bit of mustard. So that's going to be lunch. And then Mark and I are going to go over to Jake and Allie's house. He's going to do a couple of things around that the house for them that needed something Mark needed to repair. Um, did it like a few weeks ago. Now I have to go back. So um, anyway, then we're going to go out and grab a bite. So I'm like, oh my goodness, what am I going to order? So I might just do like maybe some um, grilled shrimp or something in a side salad and I'll just put my own dressing on it. Um, and Allie's like, oh, we're gonna have some wine. I'm, I can't have wine. Uh, not for the, you know, at least another week or so. So she's like, oh, I said, but I'll have some iced tea, unsweetened iced tea with you. Uh, so anyway, we're gonna head over there here in a little bit. But in the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and eat real quick. And um, the trainer that we talked to yesterday, she sent me some stuff over. I'm gonna go look at all that. And I'm looking forward to that. And then I'll probably just freshen up real quick and then we'll head over Jake and Allie's. And then tomorrow is such a crazy day. Um, I have to be in Cleveland for something. And then while we're out there, Lawrence said, I'll come with you and we'll film. So we're going to film uh, a couple things with you guys, for you guys. We're going to do like an anthropology because people, I love anthropology. We're going to do Nordstrom Spring Fragrances. We're going to do like probably Crate and Barrel. So it's going to be really a fun day. So I'm looking forward to tomorrow. All right, I'm going to go eat real quick before I basically pass out. No, not really. But I'm just, I am so hungry and it's, and it's almost three o'clock. And I did have a smoothie this morning and a little snack, but I'm really hungry. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat and then I'll check in. Alrighty, friends, why well, change for the third time today? We're gonna head to Jake and Allie's. Mark's gonna do what he needs to do there. And then, uh, yeah, we're gonna go grab a bite to eat. And like I said earlier, I think I'm just gonna, did I say this already? I'm gonna do like some grilled shrimp or something like that, some grilled chicken, and just get a salad and put my own um, dressing on there. So you can always still go out and eat healthy, just make better choices, and that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, so I will check in with you once we get to the restaurant and show you what I'm gonna eat tonight for dinner. Well, hi friends, it's actually getting late and I never even filmed dinner. We just had so much fun with Jake and Allie, but it's almost 10 o'clock and so Lauren and I have such a busy day tomorrow. I'm picking her up early, but I wanted to show you how we both sort of, I know she prepared on her end and I was preparing on my end. So I thought I'd share with you some of the stuff I've got packed up. Um, so I'm still staying healthy and staying on track while we're out and about tomorrow. 
So in these little cute snack bags, I um, added my almonds. This will be one of my snacks. I've got my little drinks here. I got my supplements. I got some tea bags because I love hot tea. And in here, I've got, um, here I'll show you. I've got, well, you can see, but my hummus is in that little center container, and my and I've got my little um, peppers, orange peppers, all cut up. Um, I've got a cola ready for some waters. I'm going to take my, um, my smoothie shake, I'll make this in the morning and take that along with me. Uh, and then I'm not sure if we're going to just grab maybe a salad with a little piece of chicken or fish or something out and about tomorrow. So um, I'm going to talk to Lauren and see if what she's going to do if we're going to do that or if I'll, I can pack like some lettuce wraps or something like that but this is how I'm getting organized for tomorrow I'm um, a lot more stuff I wanted to share with you yet in this vlog it's going to be a busy day tomorrow but I'm gonna try to vlog in between filming but I wanted to show you how I prepare uh, so I did it tonight so tomorrow I can get up And then just get ready and head out the door so I wanted to have everything prepared I think the biggest thing uh, with me even starting off this new year uh, with my my calendars and everything is just really staying on top of everything and staying organized and um, you know just mapping out time to make sure I get things done the night before which is huge and really again just getting up even if it's 15 10 15 minutes early just to get everything organized uh, for the next day really will just help you get off on the right foot so i've been doing so good with that and i really think me preparing in the beginning of this year with uh, being so diligent with my calendars and color coding and all that has been just a huge help uh, with me now into this new phase this renew refresh refresh renew uh, stage that i'm starting and um, I also want to share again more with you about the exercise program I just started uh, and I'm really looking forward to it uh, with Heather so um, more to come on that but I wanted to just say good night and I will see you in the morning happy Wednesday friends happy rainy oh it's Thursday oh my goodness <laughs> happy Thursday friends it is pouring down rain looks like we're gonna have a lot of rain back and forth and while we're in Cleveland today so hence why I've got my jacket on with the hood, so it might make it easier running in and out, not having to worry about an umbrella. Um, I'm making my hot tea. I already got my smoothie to go, and as I showed you guys yesterday, I even got my cooler of my water, my hummus for my snack. And then Lauren and I are gonna go grab a salad with like a protein or something for lunch while we're out there. But I wanted to have everything prepared, and uh, I got up early, I did some meditation. It's felt really good today. Uh, it's rainy, but I don't care. I'm just, I'm happy. I'm really happy. So, um, all right, my tea is boiling. I'm gonna get that ready, take Archie out. I'm gonna go pick up Lauren. All right, friends, well, we are home. It's 7.45, we've been home for a while. And uh, I've been just packing to go over to Morgan and Tony's tomorrow morning, but I wanted to show you just a few things that Lauren and I picked up on our travels today. Oh, we just had such a fun day. Even it was a torrential downpour. We had a lot of laughs, a lot of fun, fun filming for all of you. Uh, so let me show you, look at all this stuff over here. It's, I gotta get it all organized, but hold on. Okay, so first of all, Lauren and I did treat ourselves to the Coco Noir. And oh my gosh, you guys, it smells fantastic. So, so beautiful. Um, I know I shared it with you guys while we filmed you would have already seen, but uh, Coco Mademoiselle, I I keep buying this fragrance because this is probably one of my my absolute favorite, favorite fragrances. It's just an iconic Chanel fragrance. Um, the Coco Mademoiselle is just, just a gorgeous, gorgeous fragrance. Um, uh, I just love it, and anytime someone wears it, I can smell it, and I love it, and it's just such a great fragrance. Um, this one here, again, the New York, if you haven't smelled it you have to and hopefully you check out all the different notes uh, that Lauren put in the video in the description section for all of you uh, remember I did talk about this one in the video Delina oh my gosh again this has been like a huge kind of TikTok sensation uh, everyone's been on it on TikTok talking about it and I have to say it's sort of different than some of the other fragrances it is gorgeous I mean just a beautiful scent um, they were so kind there and gave us uh, samples of the, the Twilly, as you guys do know. I have the, um, here it is, the Twilly, the Ginger, 
which I love. I do not have the regular one. So she gave us a sample that actually two samples. And then she gave us two other Chanel samples. Uh, also Valentino, uh, let me see how many, two Valentino samples of the two different scents. And of course the one scent of uh, the uh, Victor Wolf Flower Balm. And this one is the Baby Orchid, which oh my gosh, smells really good. And then look at all the samples the lady at Charlotte Tilbury gave us. I mean, geez, she just really loaded us up with so many different ones. Um, so I'm really looking forward to trying. And of course, there's a couple of these that I do have. I think that I do have them. Well, maybe not. No, these are all new ones for me. Um, and then also at Chanel, they gave us a really beautiful gift bag, uh, which was so, so kind of them to do. As we shared in Anthropology, these earrings, you guys, my friend Teresa, our friend Teresa, who's on Instagram, and I'll link her below, she has been wearing these nonstop, and Lauren and I saw them in Anthropology, and we're like, we have got to get these. I mean, she loved them that much. It looked so pretty on her, so we definitely wanted to get them. And of course, you guys all know the candle. Um, that's most popular at Anthropology, and I don't think it's going to, here it is, a volcanic candle. It used to be like in a blue packaging, but now they've had, they have it in a matte black, which, oh my goodness, Laura and I were all over, so um, we were real excited uh, to pick that up. We also have these beautiful bags that we just got. Uh, in our boutique and I think they should be on our site as of now. Lauren brought them to me uh, today and look at this. I love this chunky gold chain. It's not as heavy as the gold chain of one of my other purses and actually I like this because it's not so heavy and I love the look of this bag and actually it's sort of flattened now but you can fit a lot in it. My iPhone, um, I think I've got the 12 or 13, I can't remember, and lipstick in my little mini wallet. I mean, there's plenty of room in this bag. And then check this one out. I love this. I love the silver. Again, something a little bit different. I love the beige and cream and has a snap here. And then a zipper. And then inside, I tell you what, when you have a chunky chain on, like my other one, which is, um, I can wear like a cross body, um, I think it's it's fine, but this is more comfortable to me, so I was really happy with this strap, and it's silver, uh, so you can attach it or um, not, or just use this beautiful kind of a blingy handle, uh, which is on this bag, so I was so excited, and these are just super beautiful. Lauren and I were thrilled when we got these in. And again, this one is just so super cute, you guys. Um, you can just dress them up, dress them down, whatever you want to do. And uh, we're just, you know, really happy to be adding these and so many other really cute things to the boutique. You know, friends, I wanted to share one other thing with you. Last year, I shared with you the book called 100 Days to Brave. Well, this one is 100 Days of Believing Bigger. It's a devotional journal. And I know you're probably thinking, oh my goodness, how many journals is this girl going to talk about? But I really love this, and my fitness coach really, really loves this book. And I've been following her every day when she's been posting, um, you know, posting all the different, you know, things that she has read in here and, you know, her thoughts. And um, a lot of it has just really been speaking to me. And so I did pick this up, and, um, well, I'm going to also use this. I might just use this one instead of the one that... It's just like a notebook. I might just use this one to write in for a hundred days. Um, so I'm going to start this. This is going to be another thing with my refresh renew. Uh, another thing I'm doing along with, um, you know, working out and eating very healthy and some other things. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to this. I'm going to pack this in my bag and I'm going to get this started tomorrow. And I wanted to share it with you. Good morning, friends. Happy Friday. It's bright and early and Mark and I are getting ready to head out to Pittsburgh to watch the girls for the weekend. Oh my gosh, we cannot wait. Got everything packed. I wanna finish packing up my snacks and all those kind of things. I know Morgan and Tony will have stuff there, but I don't wanna be tempted by anything not good. <laughs> so I'm gonna get all that ready and uh, I'll try to pull out the camera a little bit for the next few days, but I really wanna enjoy time with the girls. And then of course, I'll be back to you all on Sunday. So wanted to say good morning. Well, hi friends. You can see that we're back home. We had the best time with the girls. Oh my gosh, you guys. 
Capri talks so much. She basically repeats every word that you say and the conversations and watching her and Giada play are just so precious and we loved on them and they loved on us and they were so fun and Giada is like not a toddler. She's a little girl now. It's unbelievable uh, just how I feel like she's so grown up. Uh, we had just the best best time so Morgan and Tony uh, got home Mark picked them up from the airport and uh, then Mark and I headed back um, I unpacked got some things done I'm working on some things uh, I did so good with just eating healthy the entire time with all the goodies and stuff that I was you know making for the girls and the one night they had pizza and I loved it and I did not touch any of it um, but I am making my grocery list out for next week and um like i said i'm really starting um with the exercising starting tomorrow i'm starting a whole amazing program and i can't wait for my next vlog to share all of it with you and my progress i am so pumped i really am i am focused like i said earlier i'm going to repeat myself refresh and renewed i am ready and uh so far i've done really good this week lost quite a few pounds not sure about inches and i know a lot of times that's just water weight but um anyway at least i'm heading in the right direction um but i'm gonna get my grocery list together uh, a few things i want to just uh finish up before i end this vlog with all of you and oh i got my anthropology earrings on aren't these so beautiful oh gosh i love them um but i just hope you guys want to come along with with uh, me on this journey and um i'm ready i'm so ready uh, let me know uh if you want more information on just what i'm doing but i let me you know get this week going first and you know just just get into it um but other than that um, i just wanted to say hello and i'll check in here in a little bit well friends i'm gonna go ahead and call it a vlog i um, just want to relax a little bit tonight got my grocery list ready for tomorrow and uh i just want to tell you that i i really am i'm proud of myself for um just I did I stuck to the program all week and especially it was like I said earlier it was really hard just with certain things for the girls and of course you know my daughter has her little snacks and treats and things that I love in her pantry which I was like oh this I could go for one of these um but you know you want to celebrate your milestones it doesn't matter how big or how small and it's really important that you do that and I, I am I'm celebrating that I done have done really well this week and I feel fabulous i really do um and as i said earlier in my vlog i kept saying refresh but re refresh reset renew um you know again that's my whole theme uh i'm just feeling really grateful and and happy and um a couple more things i wanted to share with you i along with you know getting uh eating healthy and exercising which again my program starts tomorrow um a few things my my uh, coach uh, was talking about this loving tan and it just came that's why i'm bringing it up to you uh deluxe bronzing mousse and um she loves it it's her absolute best so i know you guys always like when we share like self tanners and stuff like that so i'm going to try this one out and let you know my thoughts and of course this just came because this is another one that is just so beautiful the uh, scott barnes body bling and you guys know how gorgeous this gives you most beautiful shade and it washes off um after you know you have it on for a while um i'm not sure more about how this one is this is a instant bronzer self tanner and moisturizer so i'm gonna let you guys know how this one is but i want to say thank you so much for hanging out with me um I just appreciate you all taking time to watch. You know how much I love you guys so much. And I can't wait. I cannot wait to get back to you uh, the, after next week and just share with you my progress. And um, so, yay me. Uh, I want to get up early tomorrow and start my exercise routine. I'm so pumped. I am so pumped. So, I love you all. Thank you so much. And I will see you next time. Never Goodbye. Up, never down. Never like a theme in a song, clever